After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church. Directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. So, church. Hello. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. from the gallery. Thanks, Bell. Here's 50 cents. I'll spend it all at once. 
I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Can't see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while. <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay then. 
see your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah, he's gonna wanna hear about this. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hardworking Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Some cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around, boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... Think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Find anything good? Nah, I... I'm watching you. Got it? I get it. Hello. El taxista, recordi? Ah, sí, sí. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later with Polly or Sam. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, 
heavy lifting. Like this. Make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Sounds grateful for your business. But we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back north. If the Don wants to do this again, we can meet out of town. Some place there's no heat. That'd be good. Drove into the city this morning. Thought I saw cops on every corner. I know a place. Yeah, we know a bunch of places. Bajona Vincenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny, this here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick! <laughs> <laughs> hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Come back and see me Ralph later. Ralph is in the garage. He's away. a special kind of idiot. He's got again. a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interest to her, but I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Show sh 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 up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. 
It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let them see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. Again on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name good schmuck. Hmm. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay, you go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their jump while you creep up and jump them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. Best thing. Boss gets plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Makes them careful. As long as I get the money, I'm done. Ah, he's good for it. Hey! What the hell you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep lookout here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to get Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you guard the cars? Listen, fella, who are you? You know Dino? Yeah, I know Dino. <laughs> there was this one time when I had the chance to get a... <laughs> now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. <laughs> 